Alright, so I have uh, my tuner installed on my computer. Uh, I just inserted it into the uh, PCI Express 16 slot. And it is a times one card, but it can go in times one, times four, times eight, and times 16. Any one of those card buses will work. So, um, after that, what I did is I went to Avermedia's website. I'll include a link in the description. And went to the went to the tuners page, downloaded the driver, installed that driver. It's just a little simple click here to install kind of thing. And once that's done, I just restarted and opened up Windows Media Center. So uh, I'm running it in a window right now. I'm not sure if it would be able to record in full screen. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set it up. So once you start up Windows Media Center, it's going to bring you through this setup process. You can skip out of that or go to just the standard settings. And once you're at this home menu, just scroll down to Tasks then click settings with enter then scroll down to TV then hit uh, TV signal then set up TV signal you will probably only get two or one options here uh, I've already set mine up but I'm going to show you how to do it again so yes if you already set it up and hit yes if that's your region and then your area code for uh, TV guide and then you're gonna wanna agree to this licensing and then it's gonna download TV setup data so pretty much it's just for setting up your TV tuner um, you can pretty much uh, just wait for it to do this I'll pause the video because it, it'll take a little bit of time alright after it finished doing that it's going to examining TV signals not just gonna look at the TV signals I receive determine whether that's a ATSC over the air or uh, clear qualm through my digital cable. What I'm using right here is over the air just for demonstration purposes but yeah it would also work with digital cable so uh, I'll pick it up after it's done doing this. Alright so now it's done uh, examining the TV signals and it detected successfully as ATSC, which is over the air, digital, um, two tuners, yep, it's a two tuner card. So, uh, if you have clear qualm, it would say digital cable, and then, um, it would say clear qualm with two tuners as well. So, go ahead and hit yes if that's correct, and then next again. And now, it should have downloaded the guide data right there, but mine's already done, so I just hit finish right here and now it'll bring us back to the settings page and then we can test what signal strength we're getting alright so we're back in the settings we can test our signal strength of from our antenna so just hit yes there now let's see what kind of strength we get. So whichever one you want to check. Now it's raining outside and usually that would impair the signal strength but it looks like it's doing just fine right here and I have my antenna in my attic. Not outside. So I'm getting 43 channels. They're all coming in pretty good except for a couple I think. Get some bad strength like that one. And uh, after this, we can just hit next and then finish. Now let's watch some TV. So you can go ahead and hit this little green button. Brings you back to the home page. Go up to TV. Then we can check out the guide, which I think is the coolest part about Windows Media Center. And I'm going to show you that two-tuner feature. Now, uh, when I play some TV, I'll just play it a little bit. So I'm not getting in trouble with YouTube or anything and um, I'm going to show you its two tuner functionality so first let's start by recording two programs at once so you can hit record and then say I want to record this too I'll record that as well and let's see you can record two HD things at the same time um, these two aren't HD well one of them is HD and one's not but 
Uh, there's no problem with HD quality. It looks Kevin just as Frazier good. Is there and, he joins us live now from Toyota Park. Kevin. and then that picture looks stunning. Uh, yeah, let's see. That's currently being recording, uh, recorded, so we can click on something and then look up uh, its program info, and we can record that or record series. So recording would just record that single uh, video or TV uh, show, and then record series would record that, and then on any other channel it was on as well. So that works well for other shows that maybe you want to watch. So we're going to go ahead and close this. And I just want to tell you one more good place to check out what you what stations you'd get is siliconduff.com. I'll provide a link to that and you can pretty much check all the channels that you'll receive. So uh be sure to rate, comment, subscribe and check out our new channel. See you guys later.